Hello everyone, I'm Dan. In this tutorial, I'm going to be talking a little bit more about uh, string manipulation, specifically the strn copy function, the strn cat function, and the string len function. Um, let's get started by opening up uh, your web browser to my website, the gpu.com. I'm going to select menu. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to scroll down to the C tutorials this time. And then we'll come all the way down here to the strn cat, strn copy, and strn length. Um, so basically here's all the declarations. I'm just going to kind of skip over that for now there. So I'll be going over what each one of those do in the source code. Um, this tutorial builds on concepts from my copying strings with string copy and appending strings with string cat. In other words, string concatenation. I'm going to take a break from discussing memory overflow issues and present a real life scenario of how to build a record for a comma separated value, a CSV file. Uh, while I won't actually build the file, I will demonstrate how to create a single record and it'll be properly formatted there. So for this tutorial, imagine that we are programmers at an electrical utility company. We need to create an export file to send to the billing department so they can print the bill, stuff the envelope, and send it out. We'll be pulling records from a table that contains the customer name, another table that contains the customer's mailing address, and a table that contains the latest meter read. Now all the tables are related to each other by a key that is the account number. It might look something like this in the individual records. So here be the account number and then this, this is a record from the table that would contain the customer name. Account number once again. This table might, uh, this might be a record from a table that would contain the customer's mailing address. And this record would be from a table that contains the last meter read value. So we want the CSV record to ultimately end up looking like this. And CSV individual elements, if they're a string type, they're separated, they're enclosed in uh, double quotes, separated by a comma, right? So here's, this is like the second element here, the third element, and the fourth element. Okay. Now you notice in this one here, and I specially crafted this, there's a comma in the middle of this element there, right? And that's fine, and that's that can happen quite a bit there. And that's the whole reason why string values are enclosed in quotes like this, though. So if this wasn't in a quote, then this would be the second element, this would be the third element. The alignment would all be off, and you know, nothing would import properly there. So anyway, but you'll notice over here, since this is a numeric value, it does not need to be enclosed by quotes. So you would never you would never want to like format that readable by sticking a comma in there to make that 1248 you just leave individual decimals anyway that's enough about csv values let's uh, uh csv records let's go ahead and write some code here uh, let's pop back to the desktop i've got a shortcut to the command prompt on my desktop but if you don't you can create one really fast by right clicking selecting new shortcut cmd next finish Sorry about the small font, shooting those, these in 4K now. Um, we open up the command prompt. It opens up on the wrong screen. First thing you want to do is type in GCC. You should see uh, fatal error, no input files, compilation terminated. However, if you see command contains unrecognized phrase or keyword, go ahead and watch my tutorial on installing GCC. Make sure you get that up and running properly. CD backslash, change to the root. I'm going to make a directory here called CDemo. Um, I already have it, but if you don't, it'll create it for you. We'll change directories to the C demo folder here. And I'm going to make a directory here today called CPY cat uh, len demo. There we go. It's a mouthful. Let's change to that folder here. And I'm going to notepad uh, similar cat uh, len demo.c. There we go. Yeah, we'll go ahead and create that. Of course, it's creating this thing just absolutely huge. Resize that so we can see something. All right, excellent. Let's pop back to my website to grab the code. You don't want me to, you don't want to watch me type that in. Nothing more yeah, annoying, if you ask me, than watching people type stuff in on a video. It's really slow. Sometimes it's good, but most of the time it drives me crazy personal preference though. All right, let's pull this out a little bit there. Okay, um, let's come up here and save this. So including the standard IO string header, right? Um, I haven't introduced this uh, pound define yet, which is a directive. And this defines a constant account len and the value of 10. <laughs> so anytime you see account len 
throughout this program, it basically you can think in your mind, substitute in the value of 10 there. All right, um, and I'll go over that in future tutorials or I just kind of wanted to introduce that. So on this first statement here, I'm basically doing a string value, uh, character array, char array, and initializing everything in that char array all to null zeros. Um, then I've got the name record here, right? Uh, another string holding that value, just like what we talked about in the earlier address record holding this value, meter record, a string holding this value. Okay. Now in a database, you'll typically have static uh, length fields there. So name in the database might be defined with a maximum of 20 characters. Include the one for the, the final null zero for C. Address might be 100 characters. Meter read might be uh, like say 10, right? Um, so let's go ahead and compile this and we'll walk through the rest of the code here. Let's clear our screen, GCC, hit tab, bring that up. Minus O for our output file, hit tab again and just strip off the C there. All right, let's go ahead and run this now. Let's move this over here and move the code back over here to kind of look at everything there as we go. All right, so the first thing I'm doing here, right, is I'm doing the str n copy function which the first parameter is going to be the string that we're copying into, right? Which is this empty name string right up here. The second parameter is the string that we're copying from and the length of characters that we're going to be copying. Now let me explain a little bit on what this is here. Now the plus here, we're going up to the name record here, which the first 10 characters are the account number up here. So we want to start at, um, this character, the 11th character, and go to the end, okay? So what uh, what this syntax does is we're starting off a name record, and this basically says, okay, we're going to start at the, the plus 10, which is the 10th. Um, uh, well, we're going uh, all the way over to the 10th element, and then we'll start after that. Now, the str length of name record will return back the whole entire length of this. And let's see, it's 10... 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Okay, so if we just individually uh, you know, executed the statement right here, return 21. And then, of course, minus account length, which is 10, right? So this particular third parameter here, in this, this case, will return back 11. So we're going to come over to the 10th, past the 10th character, and we're going to grab the next 11 characters here. And that's what we're placing into the name value here, okay? So that's pretty cool there. And then I'm just displaying that to the console there using the printf. And as you see up here, right, name equals Daniel Ross. So all in all, pretty cool so far. Um, using the same logic um, for the address here, right, address record also contains, uh, you know, the first 10 characters of the account number. So we only want to grab this. So we go over to the basically right past the 10th character and we grab the whole entire length of this string minus of course that, right? Which returns address back up here, meter read, same sort of logic, okay? All displayed to the console. Now we're gonna build our CSV record. And so the first thing that we're gonna do is just execute the str copy, right? Which will copy in, um, this is an escape sequence with the double quote there, right? Um, we can't do something like, for example, that, because then this would be the end of the string. So we have to escape that out. Uh, I've got a tutorial on escape sequences there. Um, and uh, just save that there. And then the next thing we're doing is we're str catting, right? We're concatenating the name onto the end of that, right? Bada boom, bada bing is right there. And then we're concatenating another quote, comma, quote, which is this right up here. And then we're concatenating or appending, right? Uh, the address right here. And then we're appending another uh, double quote and a comma. Boom. And then the meter read value here. And then another comma quote, which puts us right there. And now we're using strncat, right? And so this, what we're doing right here is we are going to be obviously appending to the CSV record here, right? But um, I just picked one of these. I could have picked any of these name record, address record, or meter record, right? 
But basically, the um, uh, we're passing in this whole entire string here, right? But we're only going to take the first 10 characters of that, right? So it comes out and grabs this and appends it onto the back of that. So that's the, an example of the strn cat function there. And then the last thing we're doing is, is, S, is um, concatenating a final quote there, okay? And then displaying the CSV record to the console there. And that's what we end up with there. All right, so that will pretty much do it for this tutorial. I'm going to go ahead and minimize that, minimize that. I really don't have much, uh, much to add on to that. Just uh, stay tuned for future tutorials where I'll be doing more string manipulation stuff. Thanks for watching. Take care.